next year. So we got a women's straw weight fight. So we know how you feel about the women's fights, and frankly, we know why he feels that way based on how based on how the last female fight <laughs> went for us. But moving on. So this fight we got Loma Luke Bunmi versus Jin Yu Frank. Yes, yes. Let, let's hear you say that name. Uh, uh, look behind me. Loma Luk Bunmi. L Loma Luk Bunmi. There you go. <laughs> so her name, actual name is Konkyak Sufisara, but she changed her name to that. So it is, is, it is more of a given name by herself. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, and so she's smaller, she's younger, she's faster. We've actually seen Jin Yu Frey fight. Uh, if, you, if you really want to analyze her as a fighter, she's kind of that like over the hill, previous champion at a lower, you know, journeyman type of, type of fighter. And okay. to be honest, like she's the kind of girl that I'm really happy is getting the opportunity to fight in the UFC right now. We saw her lose to a really highly touted prospect in Kay mm -hmm. Hansen, who's a, who's a great wrestler and ended up getting the third round armbar. Uh, so she lost by submission in the last fight. To be honest, she, she can she can last, but I think that it works in our favor in this fight because to be honest, I think our girl Loma is just going to absolutely maul her. And she has the technical skill to maul and avoid at the same time. Mm -hmm. I would be shocked to see if, if um, uh, Frey's striking really comes into play here because I think it's just going to be one of those like pressured situations for on a regular basis. And so yeah. we be able to handle it. Now, will sh the finish happen, things like that? We're not really sure. Like, let's look sure, at more tape yeah. and you can look at maybe some of the uh, weigh-in uh, highlights and stuff like that, face-offs, just see maybe if we can really pinpoint something. But to take uh, Loma maybe on points just seems like a really good bet here. Uh, I'm going to see finishing ability, to be honest. But at the end of the day, uh, from an odds perspective, I'm really hoping we get good odds on her because I would love to take her straight up. I would absolutely love it. So two things. First thing I noticed, there's a lot of good-looking girls on this card, man. Uh, so I'm gonna tell you right now, uh, Jin Yu Frey is that that's the one you're talking about, right? Obviously. And it's because you looked at her topology picture, correct? Yeah, yeah. Can no, just, no. Yeah, can you just do me a quick Google image search for me? Just do a quick Google image search for me. <laughs> Don't take too long. Just do a quick. And I'm not being mean. I I am not saying anything mean at all. But like at the end of the day, lighting, makeup, and photography and Photoshop can do a lot of things. And I just want to get your live, you know. Come on. Yeah. So at the end of the day, you know, it can be very misleading in terms of what a person looks like. And I remember her from her last. This life. is online dating to its finest. Yeah, yeah. This, is, this could be an MTV Catfish episode, no doubt. But I'm trying to keep that opinion aside because, frankly, it's about the fighting. And if she wants to catfish, she can catfish. I am. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So, her, 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 her coach is actually her coach. Her coach is actually um, her significant other. So that's jokes aside. So they are together. Uh, please forgive me on that one. Uh, so <laughs> moving on, the odds for this one. Uh, you, said, <laughs> you said you were hoping, you know, for some good odds on. Look behind me. What would make you happy? Just call her Loma. Why you got to be rude about it? Fucking casuals, bro. Says, says the guy who's catfishing. Casuals, Get out of here, man. Fucking casuals. Yeah, I, mean, I can be upset that that's her picture on Typology. Like, come on here. Like, you're a fighter. Like, I get it. But, you know, at least she had a belt at the time. Like, good for her. For that picture, if that if there was no belt, I would be utterly <laughs> Like, that just to me is uh, not fun at all. But, yeah, Loma, Loma's the pick here. Loma's the pick. They're straight out, man. It's a pick. Let's get it. That's, that's, a, that's a fight we might need to lay on before we see... But it moves... Yeah, because, you know, as we said, you know, based on my conspiracy theories, like as people get a, a little whiff of these highlight tapes and as the UFC starts, maybe even, I don't know if they'll have the promos for this, you know, prelim fight, but at the end of the day, mm -hmm. people will start betting as they start to get a whiff of the difference in these fighters. At yeah. the end of the day, like, that's what I mean, right? Like, there's going to be a lot of experience on Frey's side. I just... And there's not a lot of tape on Loma, right? So that's the thing. I, I've watched a couple of her full fights, and she mm -hmm. looks great. And I, yeah. I, based on what I saw with Frey, I think when it comes to second, third round, if if Loma can really keep the pressure up, I just don't see her being able to deal with that kind of a mauling because mm -hmm. Kate Hansen's very much a wrestler, and, and by the third round, she was just having her way with her, and it was it was over by that point. Like, you really can't come out of that. So that's what I mean, right? If you're telling me I can get him at a pick, then I don't have to worry about yeah. the finish and stuff like that. And no, I can just there's great that. odds on us taking Yeah, I'll probably out. finish this recording and go place that right now if I'm being honest. <laughs> there but you we'll go. See, we'll see how that goes.